Hello everybody. Today is an exciting day because the new Painter 2020 is being released. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about all the bells and whistles of Painter. Not in this video. You'll have to join my class, What's New in Painter 2020, uh, and we'll go over all the bells and whistles. But what I do want to tell you in this very first video is that you want to open Painter a little differently than we've done it before. We're going to open to optimize the performance of Painter. And so I want to show you how to do that. Now, if you have already opened Painter before seeing this video, it's okay. You can just still follow the video, do everything I do in the video, and you will optimize Painter for your uh, particular system. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install Painter, which we've already done, and now we're going to start it. So you want to hold your, down your shift key and continue holding the shift key down until you open Painter. And once you see this window that pops up that says Corel Painter 2020, you're about to restore Painter to its factory default settings. Once that opens, you can let go or, or release the shift key. Now, we've just installed Painter, so we haven't done any customizations. If you've installed it and started working, more than likely you haven't done much in far, as far as customizations. But if you have, it would be best to just lose them and start that over again. What you want to do is don't keep customizations, but click on Restore All Settings to Factory Default. Then click on Reset All Workspaces, and Painter will open, or start to open. Now, at this point, a lot of people will close the welcome window that opens. Don't do that, because this is a one place that you can optimize Painter, and that's what we want to do in the very beginning. Okay, so it's opened with the welcome window open. <clears throat> it normally will open uh, in this Optimize Performance tab. But if it doesn't, just look here on the left and find Performance and click on it. And that will open up the Optimize the Performance of Painter. Now let's read what it's going to do. It says it provides insight into how well your system meets recommended performance specifications. And it optimizes application settings to leverage system hardware. That is, optimizes your application settings to leverage your system hardware. So this is going to set Painter up to work with your machine the best way it can. Before you proceed, you want to save and close all any documents that you have open in whatever software you have open. You want to close any unnecessary applications while the test runs. And you want to be aware that the test may take several minutes to run. Now, the reason you want to close all of this stuff is because it's going to look at all the available uh, resources to optimize your performance. Okay, so be sure you close everything. Now, once you've done that, you just click on Optimize Now, and it opens up a new window, and you'll see that it starts painting on this window. Now, it's kind of slow. Um, now, my machine is a really fast machine, so it's probably going to go faster than most of your machines. So that's why they're saying it's going to take you know, a minute or two. Uh, anyway, you just let it run. It's it's testing out multiple brushes, different brushes, and at the same time it's doing that, it's optimizing the performance of your machine. Okay, once it finishes, then you get this report. Now, as I said, mine's a fast machine and I've got all green columns here. You may not have all green columns, but it's okay. Green means that it exceeds each one of these items, exceeds my uh, the recommended specifications for painter. If it's yellow, then it means it meets the uh, recommended specifications, and that's good. If it's red, it says it's below the recommended specifications, and that's still not bad because... 
you'll find that uh, even if it's below specifications, Painter will still run, and in some cases, run beautifully. My old Alienware um, Aurora 4 was made before 2016, so it didn't have AVX2. It had AVX1. So this part was in the red for me on that older machine, but when I painted with it, I didn't notice much difference between it and this machine. Now, the other components are pretty rapid on both of them, so that probably made up the difference. Now, this is your brush benchmark. Some of you will have large ones, some will have small. And this is, uh, these are paint accelerators, or one way to look at the components of your computer is that they're painter accelerators. And this little uh, bar will kind of tell you what's doing what. So the base speed, this little white over here, and it may be heavy in yours, or it may be tiny, that's really just your processor, your central processing unit or a computer processing unit that is on your motherboard. That's what's acting here. This light blue, which says plus CPU, that's the cores plus the AVX2, okay? If you have multiple cores, that's good. You want to have at least four, which would give you eight threads. In my case, I have eight cores, which gives me 16 threads. Threads are the pathways that uh, the computer will use to com communicate with itself, so to speak. And the more pathways you have, the faster the communication can go. So you want to have as many cores as you can get, and you want to have the AVX2, and that will bring you up to this. Now, all this dark blue is created by the GPU, or the graphics processing unit, which is on your video card. It's kind of like a second brain. What it does is it takes, it takes care of all the graphics and takes that, uh, that job away from your main computer processor. So this can then work faster, and this is handling all those crazy graphics that we get into. And so if you, if you have multiple graphic cards, Painter is only going to use one, so you don't really have to have multiple ones for Painter. You might for something else. But you just need at least one graphics card that has as fast a GPU stuff as you can get. Okay, the faster that graphics card, the better painter is going to be, or the better this new painter is going to be. And then, of course, you want as much uh, speed as you can get. Now, I want you to also click on this little down arrow to learn more about your results. And when you click on that, you'll see a little page of how to interpret these results. Read through that. Try to figure out what it's telling you. Read through both of these things and then go back up. And what you're learning from all of this is what you need to make Painter really fast on your machine. So if you're out, if you're now in the market for a new machine, you know what to start looking for. The cores, the AVX2, this uh, uh, really fast graphic card, and so forth. So this is a, a great thing or a great addition to Painter. You want to do this right in the beginning. Once you do this, you're done. You don't have to do it again, okay? Unless you restart Painter with a shift start, then you'll have to redo it again. Or if you uninstall and reinstall, you have to do it. But once you do it and you're just painting from then on, every time you close an open Painter, you don't have to do it. You're done. You're finished, okay? Uh, and there are a couple other places that you can do the same thing, but we'll talk about that in the class. One thing to know is that this is really about brushes. And your brushes now are going to have three performance items, uh, I guess I would call them. And every brush is going to have a brush performance panel. And in that panel, you'll see whether it's using cores, AVX2, or the uh, GPU. 
it can use one or a combination of two or a combination of three. A brush that uses all three is going to be the fastest brush you can use. Well, that's not really true. It's being optimized to be as fast as possible. If it's still one of those brushes that really uses a lot of system resources, it may still be a little bit slow if you have all three of them, but it will be a hundred times faster than what it worked than how it worked on 2019. That's where you'll really see the difference is how the brushes worked on 2019 and how they work on 2020. They're much, much superior. I'm loving 2020. I think you'll love it too. Please join my class on what's new in Painter 2020. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it yet, but something like that. And uh, we'll find out all the rest of the bells and whistles. In the meantime, open Painter and optimize your performance and have fun. Bye-bye.